caption. Watch what it says. Not all viewers. Coach, did you hear this teaching before? You did? Okay. Watch this. Not all viewers see caption. It's gonna, it's gonna, you're going to shout in a minute. You're going to throw your weave off in a minute. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not all viewers see the caption. Only those who can decode it. Are you hearing me? Yeah. A lot of people would like to come into your life and try to minister to you or try to figure out where you're at. Because that's the caption. Are you hearing me? Yeah. But if they can't decode it just because you're going through, don't mean that's where you're at. Right. Are you hearing me? Are you listening? That's why you can't allow people from the past to come in and try to put you back to the past and make you think that you're not moving in God. Are you hearing me? Because if God don't deliver, if God don't heal, and if God don't set free, then guess what? We all will be in the same place that we was last year or two years ago or ten years ago. Are you hearing me? But people will try to do what? Glory to God. They will try to catch you, catch you. They will catch you and make you think that you're not moving in God. But if they can't get cold where you are at, glory to God. Are you listening? Yes. If they can't decode it, watch this, we're going somewhere. Closed caption. To convert from code to plain text words. To convert. Convert everybody no means to do what? To change. Don't you know there's there's a code? Uh uh Dawn, you work in a hospital or you work somewhere in the medical field, right? Well, there is a code. When it says emergency, they can't just say, over here, right, right. something is going on. Why? Because everybody will start getting frantic. And they don't want that. They need what? They need peace and calmness. And so what happens is they give you all a code. Are you hearing me? Yes. And if we don't understand what that code is, then we're just going about that thing and say, ain't nothing happening. they just calling a what? A nurse. But you only get in a hurry because you decode it. Are you hearing me? You captured it and you decode it. And now you're moving. Did y'all get that? Did y'all get that? Did you understand that? All right. Here we go. All right. So to convert from code to plain text, which is words, or to activate to make something operative set in motion. Are you hearing the Lord? I'm over to God. My palms break every now and then. Because when God said, you're under cold, uh, closed caption, the only ones that will be able to decode you is the very ones that I've allowed them to see into your life. Are you hearing me? And not all of your life, whatever area God sees fit, that he wants to do what? Change it. So there's a converting going on. Watch this. A code to plain text. Are you hearing it? So that means everybody can't minister to you. Are you hearing me? That's why when you have a dream, I tell everybody this. When you have a dream, you can see a cow. What will be the first thing you say? A cow. When you see a cow, you will say a cow that's beef. What he do, he um he, he carries milk. Right? Because that's what I understand. But we have to get the code from God. To make it to come what? To play text. Are you hearing me? Yes. That's why I'm so grateful to God. That everybody that looks at me. Can act like they think they see. But when I am a closed caption. Only those. That God give the right. To be able to what? To decode me. And if they can decode my man. Then they can turn around and speak to me. In plain English. Right. That's it. Go ahead mother. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, don't get afraid in 2018. Don't get afraid in 2018. You close caption. You close caption. Which means won't nobody be, nobody be able to mess around on you. They won't take you as a harlot. Y'all not saying nothing. Amen. They won't mess up your gifting. Y'all not saying nothing. Why? Because when it's a closed caption. And see, the enemy knows this. He knew Adam and Eve had a what? Closed caption. So he's talking to who? Eve. Because he needs the code. Watch what, she, watch, watch, watch what she says. She says, here's cold. We can't eat of the tree. He said, 
He just broke the code. Okay, no, see, so this is what he meant. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He broke the code because he knew. Are you hearing me? Yes. No, no, no. He just wants you to be like him. But reality, he knew the code. The code was, I need y'all to this. I need you to walk in disobedience. Wow, come on here. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. This is some good stuff to me. And I got to stay calm because I know what's going on. See, when this goes caption, see, when you talk too much, people don't know until you start talking. Are you hearing me? They can sit there and try to figure you out all day long. They say, mm, just something about him. I'm going to get it yet. And guess what? They fishing because they don't have the code because you what? Closed caption. You're not stuck up. You're not prideful. You just closed caption. And you got what? Very few words. And when you have very few words, you make people walk away from you. And you got to think twice. And they got to come back. Because they got to what? Figure you out. Y'all not saying nothing. Because when you close caption, you just go here. To make something operative, to put set in motion. Convert and to reactive. Watch this. From convert or convert from substance. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 connects with this. Because faith is what? The substance. The substance of things hoped for and the what? Evidence. Of what? Things not seen. Alright, so evidence of things what? Not seen. Which means it's called what? Closed cash. Uh, uh, Are you hearing me? Because when God speaks a word, he speaks a word and then the word has to become what? It has to become a vision or a picture. Because anytime God speaks, he speaks and it becomes a picture. He said, let there be light. And the light became a picture. And he looked at the light. And he said, the light is what? Good. Are you hearing me? So when he speaks the word to you and I, what he says to you now becomes what? A picture. Are you hearing me? That's why when you tell people that God is going to do this and God is going to do that. And then they look at you and see that you're not even in alignment for that. They can't believe it. Why? Because it's closed caption. I want you to Okay. You are not that. Uh huh. So I want to convert but to substance. Watch, watch this. For the body of Christ, the body of Christ is if a person cannot decode you. If they cannot decode what God is saying to you, they will not be able to come in where God is taking you. So cool. Okay, I ain't get nobody said that right there. You could be sitting in that chair like y'all doing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if a person cannot decode where God is taking you, are you hearing me? Then God will not allow them, watch this, to go into that place where you at. It's not about where you sit in the chair, it's where your spirit is already at. Watch this. It is where your spirit has already experienced. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And so that's why when you pray, you have to pray and ask God to give you the answer to what you just saw. Because I said you can look at a cow and say what? A cow, glory to God, has beef. Or a cow brings forth milk. But that's not what God's talking about. So you have to ask God to do what? To decode it because you just captured something that is closed. All right, mother. All right, all right. Are you hearing this? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. We're going deeper because it's what? 3D. Mm -hmm. <laughs> closed caption are distinguished from subtitles or distinguished from subtitles or titles. Watch this. Closed captions are distinguished from titles. That will connect to what? Subtitle. Now, I need to write this down. You were there uh, 2013, but things have changed now. So you can't go off that teaching because you ain't there no more. Now, watch this. There are some preachers that don't teach or, or don't speak of a title, let alone a subtitle. They just go in. But what is happening, because I always give a title and sometimes connect a subtitle. What I'm doing is giving everybody a caption of what is about to happen. Are you hearing me? All right. Let's say you want to go to Disney World. 
and your daughter will tell you she probably jumping in right now. Hey, hey, that's it right now. You want to go to Disney World? You saw it on TV. Guess what that was? A caption. And so you captured it, right? Now because you captured it, thank you, Jesus. Now you're going off of what you captured to now go into get information of what you captured. And when you captured it, it caused your continent that 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 the you are now begin to get what happy and start getting what rejoicing because it's off of what what was captured. So therefore, when God has a person to give a title and connects it with a subtitle, you're to capture the title. Why? Because the title is what is going to happen at the end. But we're going to take a journey to get there. And if you don't capture it, watch this, then it'll be closed to you. Are y'all getting this? Are y'all understanding? Are y'all getting it? Yeah. Anybody ever seen anything on TV you like or, or walk bro down the street something you like? Get captured in your, your vision? And then you start getting happy? You start talking to God? Guess what you did? You captured it. Okay? But you don't have the code. It has to be what? Now, decode. Okay? Because why am I getting happy over a chair? But there's something in my spirit connected to the title of a chair. But I need to understand why is my spirit connected to the title chair? Are y'all getting this? And so when God wants your life to be a closed captain, he's going to tell you to have titles. Okay? Because this summer you're going to go on vacation. Okay? Vacation is the title. So now, you capture vacation. Watch this. Then you sit at the table, and now you all are talking about where are we going. But the title and the caption is what? Vacation. And it's bringing what? Excitement to the conversation. But now we got to do what? Decode. What is this about this vacation that we're all excited about? Are y'all getting this? Woo! You ought to be happy because when God closed things off, he's not closing it off to you. He's closing it off to the enemy. Are you hearing me? And if the enemy can be cold, what has been captured from you, for you, then guess what? He can steal the picture. Yeah, yeah. 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 Are you hearing me? Yeah. Alright. So, closed captions are distinguished from titles, which is connected to subtitles. And like I first stated, there's a lot of preachers, they don't have titles or subtitles. They just do what? They go in. Now watch this. By the time sometime they get done, you don't really know what was the main meat. Are you listening? Ooh, I'm about to jump and shout, Hello, Shonda. Because if I'm going to um, Olive Garden, I'm going to what do I order? Um, rigatoni. Rigatoni. <laughs> the chicken rigatoni. So I know what I'm going to get. That's my main course, right? So now my appetizer. Y'all ain't saying nothing. If y'all ain't eating, that's for y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I get my sweet tea. They ask me, do I want an appetizer? I get stuffed mushrooms. Now watch this. I already got what I already captured. That's the title. And it's lead me to there. So now I know what journey or what road to take. I'm not all over the place. So if you don't mind, can you give me a title to your life? Y'all not say, yeah, shot. Because a lot of people, the world gave us titles. Yeah, yeah. Are you hearing me? You better say that. And God said, I'm trying to give you a title. Because if I give you a title, not clergy title, but a title of a picture of your life that is different from your past, then the journey that you will take, that I will take you on, it will cause you to say, I got to keep going. 
Why? Because what I catch is what? My destiny. Oh my God. Ooh, ain't that some good stuff? Because yeah. scriptures are good. They're good anyway. But where are we going with this? Where is this scripture taking me to? Okay? So if you get a title, and what's tonight's title? It's closed captioned in 3D. You see what I'm saying? And so now the journey, glory to God, is not going to be a hard journey, even if the storms come up. Because I'm already catching the title. Mm. You already captured the title that she's going to graduate. You see her with her robe and her and her and her cap with that girl, color who shined up. Are you hearing me? And so the journey, she may come into a, a hole in the ground, and you be like, "It's gonna be all right," because what? We captured you're gonna graduate. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're gonna yeah. fulfill. That's the title. Y'all yeah, not saying that. And sometimes people try to do what? Change yeah, the title. Yeah, right. And because you the mother, you say, "I don't think so." Right here, graduation first. Go ahead, you understand? Yeah. Like, are you getting it? Yeah. Are you getting it? Because the world gave us titles. And God said, I'm going to give you a title. So he lays Joseph down Come on. and gives him a dream. And the dream is a couch. And when he got up, he told his brothers, man, I had a dream. Yeah. And this is what I was. Catch it. Are you hearing me? Yes. But they didn't understand that God had to what? Allow him to Yes. See it and catch it. Are you listening? Yes. I hear you, Holy Ghost. And the brothers are thinking, do what? He told it. Because they took him and threw him in the pit. Right, and right. said, what will become yes. of the dream? Yes. But they didn't decode it because it was what? Closed, catch. But the Bible said, the father pondered Woo. what Joseph captured. Teach. Oh my God. You better teach, mother. Tell your neighbor, that's why you can't give up when the enemy try to throw you in the pit. Because you're going to come up from there. Because that's not what you have. You better come on here. That was not the time. That was the time. And that's why when things happen, you say, God, this ain't in the script. Y'all ain't saying that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't allow people to do stuff to you. You got to say, God, this one in the script. Because why? Because this is not what I want. I saw. This is not what I want. Catch are y'all getting it? Yes. And the enemy is trying to do what? Decode it. And if he can ever decode it, and we say yes to what he's trying to do, then that's the caption we shall have in our life. Tell your neighbor, that ain't the title of my life no more. I'm not a victim. I'm victorious. Oh. I'm not last. I'm first. Y'all not saying about that. You better get some titles to your life. And then that God said, it's closed caption. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Tap your neighbor and tell your neighbor, oh, yes, I can't change. Yes, I can't change. Oh, yes, I can't change. Come on, her. So the titles. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, thank you. Are y'all getting this? Yes. Are y'all getting excited? Yes. Tell your neighbor, it's closed caption. It's closed caption. In 3D. In 3D. Woo! I'm going to go see Black Panther again. And they said, yes, girl. To get my wig right And they said, You want 3D? I said, mm -mm, Just give me plain. But oh, when I got this 3D now, I want to see this in 3D. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Because it's what? Closed caption. Okay, let me hurry up. Because y'all sitting on the edge of y'all. Say, Come on, Pops. Come on, Pops. Y'all get it? Y'all get it? Oh, yes. So a title is important. Why? Because the title will cause your journey. To know where you're going. There's an angel over here. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Angel ooh, just saw him. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In the U.S. and Canada, Thank you. the subtitles assume the viewer can hear but cannot understand. Uh -oh, let me say it again. In the U.S. and in Canada, the subtitle assume that the viewer can hear. But don't understand the language. Okay? Y'all ever seen them uh, Chinese movies? I was right there with you. Good movies. But you got right, 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 right,
understand what they're saying, then the movie will be better because the action is good. But I need to what? Understand what I'm hearing. Y'all not saying nothing. Watch this. So they only translate some dialogues and show on screen the text, which means the word. Are y'all getting it? Because there's sometimes when you watch it, they do put the words, but they don't put all of them. Are you hearing me? Why? Because they're already assuming that even though, watch this, you can what? You can hear, but you can't understand. So if somebody already assuming you can hear, but you don't understand, watch this, then they, maybe you didn't yeah, yeah. understand what yeah. I said. Y'all know how yeah. we do that. That's the same thing. And that's what the enemy is saying. He assumes that not only we can't hear, but we can't understand. Tell your neighbor, hold my meal. Like Shirley Caesar said. Because not only am I about to dance, God's about to give me revelation. He's about to decode what he's saying to me. Woo! God, I thank you. So when there's some assumption, assumption of people zooming in your life. Oh, I'm telling you, you weren't there. Come on here. See, they trying to break open yes! oh, the caption that is closed off ta -ta from them. Ta -ta and because they trying to read while you jumping and shouting and knowing you ain't got no money. Y'all not saying nothing. Abazo! They're trying to do what? Decode. Yeah. Well, tell your neighbor to jump and shout all over. Because they will never figure out what God showed you. See, what you got to understand, you ain't shouting what you're going through. You shouting off of what God showed you. And what he showed you is what? Is what you capture. And when you capture it, he closed it off. Nobody said that to me so quick. My God, for dying. Tell your neighbor, you better start smiling because God said, I showed you something. Glory to God. And the enemy is trying to decode it. And people, amen, that's connected to him is trying to decode it. And you better not give them no information. You better act like the three monkeys. See no evil. Come on, hear no evil and speak no evil. As a matter of fact, say it like this. Speak no English. Come on, hear somebody. Come on. Come on, mother. Yeah. Watch this. I promise you, you what it is. Warning when you're trying to read the words while the movie is going forward. You can miss the major moment. Are you hearing me? Yes. Glory to God. Have you ever watched a movie? What's your name? Okay. Okay. But can you, have you ever watched a movie and you put the words on? It's, they still talk in English. You know, because that's what my kids be trying to do too. <laughs> and you be watching it and you be, and you miss the most the motion. And said, and everybody else screaming and hollering. You just like, well, what y'all hollering about? And they say, you ain't see that? You ain't see not you ain't read that. Yeah. yeah. You ain't see that. Ah! Not you ain't read it. You ain't see it. And then because they said, can y'all rewind that back? Uh -huh. Come on, so I can see what y'all saw. Y'all just saw. Why? Because we trying to what? See the movie and read it at the same time. Jesus. And if we read it and see it. We gonna miss something, yeah. and it's usually the moment, the moment that God. Y'all not saying that to a sister. See, a moment is a moment. God will flash something. Glory to God. He said, "Did you see that? No. What you talking about? No, you didn't see that? Now I'm spooky. Are you hearing me? Y'all ain't saying that to a sister. Cause I was praying today, and as I was praying, I got up and I began to say. Dove's eye. I'm gonna play that song tomorrow. And weather forecast time. I started singing and all of a sudden I looked out my window. Guess what? Cup. There go a dove. I did what I what? <laughs> Captured the moment. Y'all not saying that. So then I got up and started putting up, amen, uh, my Bible, my all my stuff to put it up so I can sit down and start getting to the Word. And then when I came out of my closet to come through my bathroom and come back in my bedroom, I looked out the window. The dove had moved and the dove was over there. Guess what? It's no longer one, it's two. Yeah. Come on, Mama. Y'all not saying nothing. Glory to God. I'm like, oh, 
All right, God, you're talking to me. Capture me. All right. So then I go and I start playing a dove song. You ain't hear me. Glory to God. And as I play and I'm up there singing and crying, all of a sudden I go back over there and look out the window. It's still there. And I'm crying all over to you. know the doves are. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And all of a sudden I went back over there. They gone. But guess what? I captured it. Y'all not scared. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, should we shout like she shout? Shout! Because I captured something. And it was what? A moment. I was speaking. It was a moment. Are you hearing me? Yes. It was a moment. Yes. So if you're trying to do what? Read the words of what God is saying. And he's trying to show you what? A moment. You're going to miss it. You can't miss the what? The moment that he shows you. You hear that, coach? <laughs> because it's not a what? A long moment. Why? Because the enemy knows you just what? Put your eyes on something. That God fixed your eyes on. That he's about to do for you. Are you hearing me? And if he can duck, look over that door. Look over there. And so I'm like, she's looking at So what I do is look at her eyes. And I try to. Move to sin. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what the enemy would try to do. Okay. They looking too long over there. Now they getting happy. Now they twirling. Now they running. Okay. If they look again, I'm going to try to figure out what they looking at. Are you hearing me? Because why? It's closed cash. But the enemy want to what? Decode it. So when God is showing the moment, don't be tripping. Okay, now where that scripture at? No, 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 hold on, scripture gonna come, capture the what? And when you capture the moment, don't move, yes. Yes. be still, yes. Yes. and marinate for a second. Yes. And then all of a sudden, I said, no, 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 capture it, because when she take pictures, she take a picture of Second, it is to do what? Capture it. And when you capture and taking a picture, the picture catches what? That particular pose. And so God wants us to what? To capture that. And then once we got it in our spirit, it becomes what? A closed caption. A closed caption. Are y'all okay? Are y'all getting this? Yes. Are y'all getting this? So don't miss the moment. But try to what? Read the words. Mm -hmm. You can capture more when you can see when you can't see the words. You can capture more when you can't see the words. Faith. Faith is the substance of things what? Hopeful. And the evidence of things what? Not seen. Okay, so then what you capture? You're capturing something that won't even be right now to be able to put in words. Because if you could tangibly touch it, you would do what? Go and get it. Are you hearing me? Then you could do what? Now put it into words. But I can't put it into words when I catch it. Are you hearing me? And sometimes when you're trying to tell the person and you can't get the words out, that means be quiet. Because it's what? A closed caption. Are you hearing me? Watch this, not done. We just be done. So you can catch them more when you can't see the words and just catch the moment. Listen, our lives, the present and the future, lives are closed caption. If one cannot decode the word that has been spoken over you or spoken to you, they don't know nothing about you. Because why? They can't decode the words you speak. Because the words you're speaking are invisible. Because you have nothing to show them that is tangible. Closed caption. Watch this. The term indicates the captions are not visible until the viewer, the one who sees it, activates it. Whew. I ain't got time to calm down right there. Because y'all didn't get that one right there. Closed caption term indicates ah, the caption.
pictures are not visible until the viewer. Okay, now watch this, Brie. Because if, if, if the person which you can't see it, they surely could be the viewer. Right. So then who is the viewer? You are. And until you activate it, then it will not start moving your way. It will not start moving your way. Which means, glory to God, the very thing is what? The destiny. The destination, right? When it starts moving your way, the very thing that you saw is not moving your way. The people that is connected, the places that is connected, the things that is connected, start moving your way. Because it's already, if you're at home and the place is over in another city, it's not going to come to you in this city. Are you hearing me? But the people, the places, and things that is connected to it, it's going to get you to that place, that city. Did you get it? So the viewer is not the other person. The viewer is you. And until you activate what is a closed caption, it will not start moving. So the people that are supposed to help you, glory to God, to help you to come from the very place that that you stuck in, uh -oh, if uh -oh. you don't release and say, I believe that it's moving my way. What's moving my way? Everything, everybody, every place that's connected to get me to what I saw. Teach. Teach. Tell your neighbor, I'm not scared. Oh, I'm, I'm not scared. Because I'm the viewer. Because I'm the viewer. And if I'm the viewer, I'm it's the viewer. closed off from everybody else. But in order for it to start doing what? Moving my way. I have to what? Activate. Y'all want me to hit Power Rangers? Jump play. Come on here, mother! Ah! Y'all got it? Yeah. It's, not the, it's not the place or the destination of it. It's the person that's connected. It's the places that's connected. And the different things that is connected will start moving. And start moving and getting in position. Because you got to bypass this street. Or you got to run over here to Walmart. And they in our team. And now you're just talking in general. Now you happen up yeah. on the vision yeah. but you ain't told them all of it and now they're floodgate about it and you jumping on the inside why because you activated and when you activated what was closed it started causing the people that you don't even know that is connected to bring this thing to pass Oh, y'all wait to say, well, Papa, how do I activate? Okay. I was waiting to tell you. I was waiting to tell you. I was waiting to tell you. Can you tell us this stuff, brother, how we do this? Yeah, I was waiting to tell you. I was waiting to tell you. Well, the first thing you have to what? Believe that God said it's yours. What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you when say? you believe God said it's yours, then you begin to do what? Father, I thank you. Glory to God. And then begin to say what it is. You don't have to worry about the people, place, and things because when you say it, you're activating everybody that is connected to the caption you call. Amen. And when the enemy tries to bring up different things to make you get upset, glory to God, you start praising God, say, God, ho! Glory to God, but what I saw God is this. Because what? I what? Are you hearing? Yes. yes. Are you listening? Yes. Tell your neighbor, your blessing is in your mouth. Your blessing is in your mouth. Tell your neighbor your connection is in your mouth. Your connection is in your mouth. Tell your neighbor the thing that you need to get it done is in your mouth. Y'all not saying that she could go shot. I got 10 minutes with you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You keep thinking it's your money. But it ain't your money. It's what's in your mouth. Come on here. Come on here. Come it's two types of closed captions. It's two types. Are y'all ready? The first one is pop up. Pop up. What is a pop up? When you're the only one that saw it. And God said it was closed caption. That was a what? A pop up. Y'all not saying nothing. Because when I come on, I say what? I popped up. And y'all what? Popped in. Oh, 
Glory to God. And so what you're saying, I'm getting ready to reveal what God has just showed me. Because I'm doing what? I'm doing a pop-up. Okay, let's keep moving. Watch this. It's used for sitcoms. Pop-ups are. It's used for sitcoms. Shows uh, where the captioning been done. Watch this. Offline. I'm ready to oh, I can already drop this mic. Because the pop-up, watch this. Watch this green. Watch this snowflake. The pop-up, when I come on and tell you that God just gave me something, that was offline. But when I popped up, it became what? Online. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, see, the only thing the enemy has on you is what, what used to be online, which is your past. Yes, yes. But you offline of what you believe in, what you saw God said he's going to give you. It's not online. Why? Because it is what? A closed caption. And the only thing the enemy can keep bringing to you is your failure. It's your past hurts. Your past rejections. Are you hearing me? Because why? That's the only thing he has. That is online. Are you hearing me? My God from Zion. So it is what? Sitcoms. When God has you offline, people will not believe what God said he's going to do for you. Because why? When he told you, he didn't say it online. He said it offline. In other words, amen, sometimes when people are doing the Facebook live or they record and they begin to speak the words and turn this off. Because this needs to be what? Offline. Y'all not saying that. Why? Because everybody don't what? Need to hear what is about to be said to you. And it's not always bad. Why? Because if it's online, then somebody can do what? Snatch it. So the pop-up is what? I got this offline. Oh. Lord have mercy. Glory to God. How you get this? Baby, I got this one offline. I got this offline. I was sitting and then on the side of my bed and the Lord dropped it in my spirit. That was what? Offline. Y'all ain't saying that. You don't Tell your neighbor, it's time for some pop-ups in your life. Pop-ups in your life. Pop-ups in your life. They didn't say to you, did you get a phone call? No. Glory to God. This was what? Offline, horrible shy. Somebody must have texted and told you the check is coming. No, uh huh. I got this one. Online. Ugh. It's called a pop up. Y'all better come on here and talk to a sister. Woo, glory to God. That's the uh, first type of closed caption. The second type is called scrolling caption. Now, all this that I'm saying, I forgot what we went to go see before uh, Black Panther came out and I was sitting there. And the pop-up came of Black Panther. And they were showing the previews. But that was a what? A pop-up. Because it was already what? Offline. It was already done. So now they put the one online. And it popped up. And when it popped up, for the few minutes that they allotted, I said, I'm going to go see that. Yeah. Okay. I just said something. I just ministered. I just ministered to y'all. Are you hearing me? It was already done. It was already completed. Y'all not saying that. I'm not talking about they used the trailer. I'm talking about you didn't know it was a trailer. Okay, you better come on here. But then they popped it up in between uh, the new Marvel that's going to come on behind it. They what? Popped it up. Yeah. the entrance. Yeah. There's an angel over your son. Oh, See, what I'm talking about is theater. All this is all this is movie terms. Your life is a what? A movie. Ooh. So it popped up. And when it popped up, I didn't ask nobody, are y'all going to see? It popped up. I said, when? I'm there. So God said, I'm going to do some pop-ups. going to be offline. People are not going to know. It's just going to be between you and God. Are you hearing me? The second one is scrolling. Scrolling captioning. 
It's connected, watch this, from real time. R-E-A-L, real, R-E-E-L, real time. Caption. Which is the viewer, which is you, sees the caption, watch God within two to three seconds before the word is spoken. That's considered real time. Watch this. And her son could attest this. You doing a part in the movie. And before you take your opening spoken word, you have to stand on your mark. And if your mark is that you have to walk in before you speak, the walk in should have captured within the two to three seconds that you should have got it before they start speaking yes, yes, the part yes. of the scene. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, mother. Go ahead. Yeah, ain't saying that. Ahead, so when you go to the car lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have not even went to a salesperson. Have not even said nothing to nobody yet. Haven't even went over to the car yet. But when you walk on the parking lot of a brand new car lot, within two to three seconds, it's already to scroll your life. Jesus. Y'all not saying it ain't no old shy. It's called faith. Faith of our works is dead. Oh! You better come on here. Did y'all get that? Yeah. I got okay. Cause scrolling deals with the two to three seconds before anything is spoken. Did you hear me? Yeah. Oh. Whew. Because if people can get it after people start speaking, you got it before they start speaking. Glory to the wonderful name. Watch this. I got a few minutes. I'm done. Someone, the sitcom, someone, watch this coach, someone is captioning the show of your life. And she or he hears the audio. Which means, when I told you there was an angel here, there's two. There's one here. There's one there. Which means they have a scroll in their hand. Which means they write down right now. It's in the Word. That's why the book's going to be open. Are you hearing me? The books of what you did in the deeds of your flesh. Because it was what? Written down. In the scroll. So your life that is audio, which means if it's audio, no one can see the movement. They're writing it down. So it's on the scroll. Are you hearing me? Yes. And if you be in Christ, the new creature, then when it started moving within two to three seconds, come on, Elizabeth and Mary. The salutation changed. She didn't ring the doorbell saying, Girl, what happened to you? She didn't open the door and say, Where you been? But then in two to three seconds, the salutation came forth. Are you hearing me? Two to three seconds, the audio of what was about to happen came forth. Are you listening? Then she came, she came in and they began to talk. But the two to three seconds, the salutation is where the scroll hit. Oh, are y'all okay? Yes. Uh, ready for the 3D? Ready for the 3D? In 3D caption. I told y'all five years ago, I taught this. And the Lord said, now teach it again, but in 3D. Because you have matured. You have more wisdom now. Things are different than where you was then. Because of what? The caption. Because you've been captioning what? Different things now. And while people trying to figure you out, they can't. Because they can't decode it. Because I have not given them the answer. And if I have not given them the answer, they can't minister to you. That's it. Are you hearing me? Watch this. 3D. Watch this. It means three dimensional. I must have fell out. <laughs> it means three dimensional captioning. It is a motion picture that enhances the illusion. 
of the depth, watch this, of the perception. Oh my God. Oh my God. Say it again. Mm -hmm. It is the it is three-dimensional captioning. It is a motion picture that enhances the illusion of the depth of the perception. So three dimension right there. That got me. He says, so now, now teach it now from the third dimension. And to others, they would say, that's just a what? Illusion. Because illusion is what? Oh, you thought you saw that. You didn't see that. Are you getting it? I did see that. I saw myself doing such and such, such and such. And this person was there. And this, that, and the other. And they say, that ain't it. You just hallucinate. But it's the death of what you saw it from. It's the third dimension. Are you hearing me? So closed caption is what? In 3D. If they don't have the mind of Christ, they'll never be able to decode what God is telling you. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Let's get some word in here. Did y'all get it? Did y'all get the clothes catch? Did y'all get the amen, the scrolling? Did y'all get the pop up? So then when does what you have captured or captured by your eyes, your spiritual eyes, start moving? So now I got to scratch my head for people to say, you got to wait on the Lord. I may have to wait for the manifestation, but I don't have to wait to speak it so things is what can start moving and get into motion. People, places, and things. Are you hearing me? Watch this. Are you on 1 Corinthians? 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Are y'all getting this? It's going to be hard to decode your life. Because if God didn't reveal to them your life, it won't work. So stop crying over. People don't know I'm in. People don't see me. He said, I got you what? Close caption. Chapter 2, verse 9. Here we go. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. Did you see that? Yeah. Why? Because it's considered what? Closed caption. Watch this. But God had revealed them unto us by what? His Spirit. For the Spirit searches what? All things. Yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man except the Spirit of a man, which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. So that means there's some things within a man can't know of another man. But by the way of the Spirit, if you're not by the way of the Spirit of God, you'll never be able to know. Because why? It's considered what? Closed caption. Are y'all okay? Did y'all see it? Did y'all get it? All right. Go to Amos. Go to Amos chapter 3. Tell your neighbor, it's closed caption in 3D. It's closed caption in 3D. They will not know it. And the enemy will not know it. Are you here with the Lord? Amos chapter 3, verse 9. Watch scripture. Go to verse 7. Surely the Lord, God, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret. Unto his servants, the prophets. Did y'all see that? Yeah. What is the key word out of there? His what? Is it secrets? A secret. So which, what does secret mean? Is it different from secrets to secret? Secrets is plural. Why? So it surely couldn't mean the things that he has secret about. What is the secret? His truth. He's going to reveal his truth. 
Are you hearing me? His truth is whatever it is he say he's going to do. Are you hearing me? So the, the, the secret is truth. Because Satan need to know needed to know what God said to them because that was the secret. Watch this. Because that was truth. And he tried to what? Change the truth and make it a what? So when God reveals the secret, he's revealing a truth to you. So why would you cry and say, that's not going to come to pass? Yeah. It's not secret. Right. It's secret. Right. Yes. He's going to reveal the truth. Jesus is what? Truth. Jesus cannot what? Lie. So now what would Jesus say to you? He'll say what? Be healed? Be delivered? Be set free? Or come forth? So then all that he said in that one word is what? True. Which is now what? A secret. Tell him that. We'll do Holy Ghost. Because if Satan knew the secret by putting Jesus on the cross. <sighs> he would have never touched him. But he didn't know what? The secret. He thought he was doing something. Making the people lie and say Jesus was this when he was. That's it, that's it. Because he thought he was doing justice. And the Lord said nothing because he already revealed the truth to his son. That's why he told Peter, get behind me. Get behind me, Satan. Because Peter didn't want him to go. But the truth was what? I had to go. So that what the people will be saying, somebody at the door side, yes, are y'all getting it? Yeah. So the truth was a secret. If the truth is a secret, then guess what? The enemy thought he was telling the truth. But Jesus never told the secret to anybody but his disciples. Yeah. And when he said it, he said it in a parable. So the secret is, what did he say to you? Yeah. What did he tell you? Can I say this? What did he show you? Because why? It's closed. Catch. So Satan didn't know that Jesus had a picture that he was going to rise and the Father will be glorified. So when God revealed the truth, is what he said to you. Did y'all get that? Yes. Go to Psalm 22 and 7. We out of here. Psalm 22 and 7. Y'all okay? Yes. Psalm 22 and 7. Here it is. 42 and 7. The Bible decrees the word of God to be so deep. Call it up to deep. And the noise of thy voice, bro. All thy waves and thy billows are gone, what? Over me. So deep, call it unto what? Deep. So deep, call it unto the deep. So the deep, call it unto the deep. Then what is the deep? Because over here in Corinth, it says, I cannot see, ear cannot hear, neither has it entered into the heart of men what the Lord has already prepared for them that love them, but to them that is what? In the spirit. For them that's in the spirit shall know the deep things. Oh. So then the closed caption in 3D is the third dimension. Which is the deep things of God. Which means some things is not lawful for you to say right now. Because people won't believe what you're about to say. That you saw. That God said. Because what God said is what? True. Because it's a what? Secret. And he what? 
revealed it to you. It's not a house. It's not a car. It's not you coming out of the sick bed. What he said to you, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And that's from the deep, deepness of God. Yeah. It is considered what? A closed caption in 3D. Let's go to Daniel. Because I got more scriptures, but you know, it's all a word, girl. But I got to close it off. Are y'all okay? Yes. Are y'all understanding? Oh, yeah, yeah. So your dream didn't come from you. It came from who? God. And where did it come from? The deepness of him. And he revealed what? A secret to you. Go ahead, Mark. And if he revealed what? A secret to you. Then guess what? He has to what? Close it. So don't look at what's in front of me. Right. Because that is not what he said. Because that's not what? Truth. And that's not the what? Secret. Because why everybody is seeing it. Daniel chapter 5. Go to verse 2. Who got it? Somebody read. Come on, go read for me. Daniel chapter 5, verse 2. Read, please. While Bel Belshazzar was drinking his wine, while he was drinking his wine, read on. He gave orders to bring in the gold and silver goblets that Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem. Read. So that the king and his nobles, his wives and his concubines might drink from them. Mm -hmm. So they brought in the gold goblets that had been taken from the temple. Of Where God. was it taken from? The temple of God. I call shot on almost six. Who is the golden goblet? You are. The enemy trying to take you and me. Read, read, coach. From the temple of God. Yes. In Jerusalem. Uh huh. And the king and his nobles, his wives and his concubines, drank from them. <laughs> trying to drink from our lives. Because he can't go off of today and tomorrow. Because that's what? Offline. But he's trying to drink from what? The past. Because that's the only thing that's online to him. Are you hearing me? Read on, coach. As they drank the wine, they praised the gods of gold and silver, of bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Read on. Suddenly, the fingers of a human hand appeared. All right, close caption. And wrote on the plaster of Where the wall. Where did it write? On the wall. Near, Read on. Near the lampstand in the royal palace. I feel shy. Read the king washed the hand as it wrote. His face turned pale and he was so frightened that his knees knocked together and his legs gave way. Read on. The king called out for the enchanters, astrologers, and div diviners to be brought and said. Why? Because what he was seeing, the caption he was seeing, he couldn't understand it. Why? Because it was a closed caption. Watch this. He tried to decode it and he couldn't because fear was there. And God wasn't trying to reveal it to him. God was just what? Speaking it to him. Right. Read on, coach. And said to these wise men of Babylon, whoever reads this writing and tells you. What did you just say, coach? Whoever reads this writing. Whoever reads the writing. Whoever reads the motion that the finger. Okay. Whoever reads the motion that the finger made. Whoever reads this writing and tells me what it means will be clothed in purple and have a gold chain placed around his neck. Read. And he will be made the third highest ruler in the kingdom. Third. Read on. Then all the king's wise men came in, but they could not read the writing. Why? Or tell the king what it means. Because it was what? Closed caption. Yes. And they tried to decode it, and it couldn't. The enemy is constantly trying to decode, but it can't. Because what God showed you is closed caption. Are you hearing me? The enemy wants to know what did God promise you. Because whatever he promised you is what? A secret. And a secret is what? Truth with him. Are you hearing me? Read on, coach. So King Belshazzar became even more terrified and his face grew more pale. Read. His nobles were baffled. I, why? Why would they baffle when it was just... A scribbling on the wall that they should have been what? Able to read. 
They should be able to what? Read you. They should be able to read you. No, they can read your what? Your past life. But they can't read your present and where you're going in the future. Read on, coach. The queen, hearing the voices of the king and his nobles, came into the banquet hall. Uh -huh. Oh, king, live forever, she said. What's she saying? Don't be alarmed. Don't look so pale. There is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy God. There's a man in your kingdom that can decode this. So when people call you, you say, Glory to God, I, I, I called everybody, but they cannot what, reveal to me what this is. Why? Because God what, did not allow them to decode it. But there are people God has on sin that can decode what he what, wrote and said to you. Read on. In the time of your father, he was found to have insight and intelligence and wisdom like that of the gods. 3D. You're going to do it again in 3D because you matured more and you got more wisdom. Y'all not saying nothing. So let me drop the mic and get in my car and go home. Uh -huh. Read on. King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, your father the king, I say, appointed him chief of the magicians, enchanters, astrologers, and diviners. This man, Daniel, whom the king called Belshazzar, uh -huh. was found to have a keen mind and knowledge and understanding. He know how to decode what has been closed to the earth. Read on. And also the ability to interpret dreams, explain riddles, and solve. What you say? Explain riddles? Explain Sound riddles. like decode person to me. Yeah. Read on. And solve dif difficult problems. Call for Daniel and, Call he, for and he will tell you what the writing means. He's going to tell you watch this, what the closed caption to you is. Because you can't read it. Because it came from what? The deep of the spirit of God. And the only person that can decode it is the one that housed the deepness of the spirit of God. Read on, daughter. So Daniel was brought before the king and the king said to him, What did he say? Are you Daniel, one of the exiles my father, the king, brought from Judah? My God. I have heard that the spirit of the gods is the spirit of the gods is in you. 3D, come on. And that you have insight, intelligence. You got insight, 3D, come on. Intelligence and outstanding wisdom. Yes. The wise men and enchanters were brought before me to read this writing and tell me what it means, but they could not explain it. Now I have heard that you are able to give interpretations and to solve difficult problems. Uh -oh. If you can read this writing and tell me what it means, you will be clothed in purple and have a gold chain placed around your neck and you will be made the third highest ruler in the kingdom. That's it? That's it? That's it? Yeah, Is okay. that it? Yeah. That's it? That's it? Y'all got it? Shall I go on? Can I go home? Can I get me a burger? Because God don't lie. Honorable Shia, tell your neighbor, I'm closed caption. And why the magician, the witch, the warlock, those that are not saved, try to read what yeah. God said, they won't be able. Y'all not saying that? Because if that be the case, then, then Nebuchadnezzar's son should have read what was written on the wall. Y'all better say something to us. Up in here, up in here, up in here. Up in here. Yeah. Baby, you fishing. You ain't reading. You fishing, you ain't reading because why? The spirit of the deepness of God oh. is not in you, and when it's not in you, you can't read from me. Mm. And I didn't say for, yeah. I said for. Him. Oh. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I rest my case. I, rest my case. I am, I am a, closed a closed caption in 3D. In 3D. Until next time, put a smile on your face and go get your stuff. Clap your hands and tell the Lord yes. Amen. Glory to God. It's time to sow. Amen. On the atmosphere of this word. Come from all over the world and get your envelope. This is 3D. This is closed caption in 3D.